Trial begins for a convicted child molester that we've been telling you about for the last few months. Mark Clapper is being tried on new charges of voyeurism and obstruction of official business after allegedly watching a young boy use the bathroom at a local store. Police say he also ran when confronted. All this while he's on parole. Local 12's Rich Jaffe has been on the case since Clapper was arrested and has the story. Mark Clapper came into court today looking pale and meek. He has been held behind bars since shortly after he was arrested because police, prosecutors and judges realized that he is a serial child molester who's been molesting children since he himself was a child. His latest arrest came after he allegedly followed a now five-year-old boy into the bathroom at this Westwood Target store. With Clapper at one urinal, the little boy at the other, the boy's father had to go into the enclosed stall. He'll tell you that when he came out of that stall, his son's face was white as a ghost. He knew that something had happened. His son told him, in four-year-old terms, that Mark Clapper, the defendant, had been looking at his genitals over the partition of the urinal. But defense attorney James Patrick Kenny says his client is actually the victim here. There was no intent of sexual gratification. Therefore, there was not an offense of voyeurism. The evidence will show this very clearly and show that what originally was an innocent, um, innocent incident became more involved when the officers reacting to this and trying to make this into a more severe situation. Our investigation found that at 37 years old, Mark Clapper's been in prison at least three times for gross sexual imposition charges involving children. He carries the permanent designation of sexual predator and was still on parole from prison for a previous offense when he was arrested. Mark Clapper's jury trial will continue tomorrow. And while his current charges are only misdemeanors, because he's on parole, if convicted on those charges, they could see him going back to prison for the remaining two years of his sentence. At the Hamilton County Courthouse, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. And when Mark Clapper was arrested on his current charges, he walked out of jail after his mother put up the $150. That was 10% of his $1,500 bond. When he appeared again in court, aware of his history, Judge Brad Greenberg upped the bond to $100,000. Greenberg also pulled together a panel of judges who have now agreed that anyone charged with voyeurism in Hamilton County must appear before a judge before they can bond out.